Welcome back to the Independent Investor Channel. It's awesome to be with you guys. This video is gonna be really talking about how you can build wealth responsibly going from zero to your first $10,000. I, this is a page right out of my personal playbook. I'm on my way to about a half a million dollars net worth on a blue calorie salary. There's a way that I've approached this wealth building and this channel is all about giving you guys the insights from my perspective on how you can do it too. We don't discriminate, we don't, you know, wealth building is for everybody that's, that's uh, willing to take the correct mindset and the correct approach into it. And I see this to be one of the biggest barriers to entry into wealth building principles. And they start to aspire to millions of dollars. And that's the very barrier that keeps them from starting on their path to financial security. And it's amazing to me, guys. There's folks with potential with very little income. There's folks out there with all the potential in the world with six figure, seven figure incomes they really are not very good investors and it really kind of comes down to your mindset, you know? And stop aspiring to things that are outside of your reach because all too often I find that people use that as an excuse. I think we scale back and we need to look at how we can churn wealth building from in the trenches, all right? This is how we do it. This is how you start. If you knew nothing about investing, and you're out there and you heard what I just said about me being in this position at some point in my life where I looked at my first $10,000 and it seemed like an insurmountable goal. And that is what made it so much more fulfilling when I met that goal because I could increase my goal. And as I increased my goal, I found that it was much more easy to reach those goals as we look to step up in our financial lives. Guys, so enjoy, I'm gonna jump right into it. I'm gonna kinda of walk through this exercise under three topics. The first one being mindset. You have to have a realistic goal in mind. And I talk to people all the time who think that investing has everything to do with picking the perfect stock. Stop, stop. You're, you're putting the horse way before the carriage you need to get your mind right. You need to set a realistic goal to be like, you know what? I'm watching this guy on YouTube, who by the way is not a YouTuber, all right? I use YouTube as a conduit to push out information and provide secrets from my personal playbook. If you're willing to listen, you will succeed. You will, you really will, all right? If you wanna use the continued ex excuses as to why you can't wealth build, then I don't have the time for you. All right, but for the folks who are into listening and getting that mindset right and setting those realistic goals, the, the, the sky is the limit for you. And the quicker that you realize that, the better off you'll be, all right? And 10,000 goal is one that I've earmarked as being an achievable goal, all right? It's achievable for everybody. Don't care what your income is. I don't care what your investment uh, uh, experiences, you can meet this 10,000 goal, whether or not it takes you a couple years or it takes you 10 years. If you utilize some of the tools that I'm going to talk about under the action plan, you'll get there. It's just a matter of time. That's all. It's just a matter of time and your willingness to put yourself on that plan. Do you have the desire to do what you need to do to pay yourself first? Do you have the discipline? Do you have the want. I, I talk to people all the time who just tell me, Ryan, you know what? I get the investment. I just, it's not for me. Okay, that's fine. Just make sure that you're not cutting yourself off to so much more. Furthermore, down the line, the last thing I want for you guys is to reflect back over your life and regret the decisions that you made. And you're making a conscious decision the whole point of the Independent Investor Channel is to make sure that you're making an educated decision, all right? If you're making an educated decision not to invest, I totally respect that. If you make the decision to invest, we can show you how to get it done, all right? Why invest? Why? Why do it? I find people all the time setting up unrealistic goals. I've just given you a manufactured one. Make a goal to get to that first. If you don't have $1,000 invested, make that your first goal. But I'm going to give you some tools over in the follow-through category to make sure that you're 
giving yourself proper credit, all right? That you're not backtracking on your plan. Super, super important under this why category to get good long-term and short-term goals aligned, okay? Those are gonna come out in the action plan piece. But why are you investing? Why? Are you doing it because I'm excited about investing? I know the answer to that question uh, for me. All right, but I can't answer that for you. And everybody's answers are gonna be different. And you wanna know something? It's all right. It's all right if every person that comes into the community who's striving towards or have already achieved this have their own personal financial goals. It's okay. No portfolio has to be the same, remember? All right, no financial goal has to be the same either. We just pose these questions to get you thinking, asking those rhetorical questions, that of which you can answer for yourself. The action plan, we set you up with accounts and I've had a few folks come through the channel. Do I go with major brokerage or do we go with uh, some of the cutting edge brokerages? Robinhood comes up, Webull comes up. The two that the uh, Independent Investor Channel are affiliated with both M1 Finance and First Trade. M1 Finance being more for the investor who just wants to put their money away and leave it, okay? M1 Finance is not a platform where you're gonna be wanting to trade in and out of positions. You're gonna wanna put that money away, investment money that you do not need today, that you may need down the line. Put that money away and let it work for you, okay? First Trade is gonna be a little bit more for the active trader, okay? Both of them. Free investing, self-directed investing that's done free, that give you that free access to the market. Why is that important in reaching your $10,000 goal? It's because in each one of those two accounts that we offer, your money is allowed to be invested and maximize the potential in there because it's not being consumed by fees, okay? The major brokerage houses have found a way to take ordinary people's retirement account and affix different fees, different fees, different benefits that really should be free of charge to the individual investor, but they are not. And we don't, we aren't armed up to ask the proper questions when we're soliciting for that business. But make no mistake, if you are introducing a middleman in between you and the stock market, if you're introducing a financial planner, you will pay for those services. You will, all right? They don't work for free, all right? On the Independent Investor Channel, we encourage you to take the initiative to go to work for yourself, stand up for yourself, start these accounts that allow your money to grow unobstructed. You wanna buy stock, you can do it for free. If you wanna invest, you can do it for free, and you can do so within each M1 and First Trade with the help of having retirement uh, options offered in both platforms, okay? So decide what type of investor you kind of want to be. Do you want to be the put your money to sleep type of thing, put it in the M1 finance, or the more active investor, whether or not you want to be a dividend investor or not, those options won't piecemeal you away. You're not having to pay six, seven, eight dollars per trade. And when you don't have a lot of money and you're looking to just start out, that can be a critical, critical help to you, all right? Where those accesses to the market are free of charge. I don't care what brokerage you own Apple stock in, you still own Apple stock, all right? Doesn't matter what account you own it in. And I'm giving you two avenues to enter into the stock market passively or actively free of charge in both, all right? You gotta set the budget. The action plan is one of those things that I don't wanna see people looking to invest at the expense of poor budgeting decisions, okay? So this is just the piece that helps you work on your fitness, okay? I don't want you to be monitoring your progress from zero to 10,000 if you've got uh, you know, $1,200, $1,500 of, of debt, you know? So you have to be very, very careful with making sure that your fitness for entering into the stock market is correct before you put this action plan in place, all right? Now, the tools that are gonna help you get from this zero to $10,000 mark is dollar cost averaging, dividend reinvestment. Again, in the two platforms that we offer, those services are free of charge, all right? Traditional brokerages are gonna charge you 
for those services, all right? So we're liberating our dollars. So even if you don't understand self-directed investing at its core, you really need to pulse in with this community, all right? Because we are starting a groundswell of momentum where people are really coming around and we are really starting to understand the benefits of every single one of these tools that we offer to the individual don't cost a dime. All right, it's a setting within the account. So by utilizing these tools, what we've done is given you the gift of time where you can go from this zero to $10,000 that much quicker and work on your next goal, which is 25,000 and then 50 and then six figures, which I've already marched through those goals. And I have folks on the channel that are also working on those goals. If this is the first video that you're turning, tuning into on the Independent Investor channel, I congratulate you. You've just found the most important information or liberating information financially that, than you, that you may ever have found in your life. And I'm just trying to share what it is that I've already done on my road to financial success with you guys, all right? Now the follow through here is really, really important. If you're looking to come with a starting amount of let's say $1,000, you're 10% towards your goal, all right? And I want you to think about those things when you're, when you're pursuing this, all right? So many people will put barriers to entry in place to where they will justify remaining at this zero mark, all right? Now I ask you, how much do you have invested in the stock market? It's a very simple question. Is it 500,000? Is it 50,000? Is it 10? Is it 500? Or is it zero? right? You could be sitting out there tuning into my channel and saying, I want to start, Ryan. I get this. All right. Very, very important. But once you do start to march toward this 10K goal, I want you to look at it in terms of a percentage. Now, I've taken active positions in M1 Finance, that of which I've just went over $1,600 on the Sector Spider ETFs. That means I'm 16% of my goal. I'm doing that to prove a point. I'm doing that to walk with you guys and prove how important it is to go from this zero to $10,000 goal. And it's just a matter of time, all right? The first trade, we are now approaching $4,000 in the first trade. I just started the first trade account around four months ago, okay? Four months ago, I've started a goal. I started it from zero, marching to this $10,000 goal. We are now 40% of our goal. $10,000 in the first trade account. Why do I do that? Did I need to start those accounts? No. But if I'm going to back those accounts through the channel and say, hey, this might work for a passive, this might work for an active, then I'm going to do it myself. I cannot recommend a product that I don't use myself. And I hope you all appreciate that. All right. The affiliate links are uh, in the description of every one of my videos. Click on the affiliate. It helps to support the channel. But you have to trust. You have to trust everything that we talked about here. Trust the fact that by liberating your dollars, you're saving so much more just on the program, just by the nature of the account that you choose, all right? You have to monitor it. When I say monitor your account, I'm not saying that you need to monitor the account from the perspective of talking yourself off of your predetermined program, okay? I don't wanna see you making decisions right and looking at the stock market because your road from zero to ten thousand is not going to be just smooth sailing okay it's going to go up and it's going to go down but the tools that we've put in place will allow your dollars to grow and march toward this ten thousand dollar goal okay negative money doesn't exist unless you're talking about credit card debt all right when you start this it's so much harder to put your dollars on the positive growth side of the house than it is to be consumed on the negative interest consumption side of the house okay but give yourself some credit if you get up to twelve hundred dollars towards your goal you're twelve percent towards your goal if you get up to 5,000, you're halfway towards your goal. Give yourself some credit. Give yourself a pat on the back. And finally, I want each and every one of you guys to take a pause for a second and think about this. If you initiate just some of the aspects, the fundamental aspects about investing, I need you to expect success. I want you to expect it. 
Do not be surprised by success because I can tell you what, hopefully you all holistically hear my message and do everything that I'm talking about. This is everything that I do personally. It's everything that has physically allowed me to accumulate wealth that is way beyond uh, the, the salary, okay? And salary guys like me typically get into this mindset that I'll never be financially wealthy, never. I've always prescribed to having a mental mindset that I'm already financially successful. And I want you guys to share in that goal. Guys, thanks for tuning in. Subscribe to the channel, man. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this message of going from zero to 10,000. And I will catch you guys later. Good luck in your investment future.